Hey there, are you ready to dive into the exciting world of creating your own stunning WordPress website? If yes, then you are in the right place. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Lokaro, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a stunning WordPress website. And the best part is that we're going to be doing this in 20 short minutes. You heard me right. So this is going to be a short and concise video. I'm going to go straight to the point to show you everything you need to know. So it doesn't matter if you're a beginner. It doesn't matter if you have designed a website before. It doesn't even matter if you've opened your Chrome browser before. This is for complete beginners, right? So you don't need to know how to code. You don't need to know anything about HTML, CSS or whatever it is called. All you need to do is to follow this video step by step guide and in the next 20 minutes you're going to be having your own amazing looking wordpress website right so we're going to be doing this in three simple steps the first step i'm going to walk you through the process of securing your own domain name and also show you how to get your web hosting the uh, the, the second thing we're going to be doing on the second step we're going to be taking is i'm going to be showing you how to customize the wordpress dashboard and also how to start um, your design process the third thing i'm going to show you how to design and launch your wordpress website so if you're excited to see how everything is being done and if you're excited to get your own website in 20 minutes or less just follow me step by step and please do not forget that of course there are there are longer tutorials to this of course we are going to be uploading them um, as we go in this channel so please subscribe to this youtube channel so that you don't miss any opportunity to learn more about wordpress in the nearest future and then you'll get notified immediately i drop amazing exciting videos like this so if you've done this let's go straight into my computer and let me show you how you can do this in 20 short minutes let's go all right so um right now we are going to be getting our hosting okay so we'll be using hostinger to get our hosting right so the reason i actually highly recommend hostinger is because i personally have been using hostinger for a very long time now to host almost all the website i build right now so it's super easy to use it's easy to get hosting here and then not just that it's easy to get hosting here the thing is, is relatively cheap compared to other hosting and the value they offer, it is relatively cheap. In fact, it's one of the cheapest out there for the value they offer. It's one of the cheapest out there. And also, with Hostinger, you are guaranteed to have a very fast website, which is very, very important. You wouldn't want to have a website where someone will spend like a minute or so before they could assess your website information. I've had websites like that and it was not a funny experience at, at all. So web, uh, Hostinger gives you these features and other features a lot of things okay so it's just like your avenue for rest of mine so go ahead and check out the option that you want first of all it starts from 299 and then you have 75 percent off of your hosting we're going to get this to get better right now okay so first of all scroll down here so right here we'll have premium uh, business and then cloud startup you can choose from any of these all right so you can actually choose premium hosting okay it's good for you to get started as you can see you can look at the features here just go ahead and look at all this but let me just go through some of this you have standard performance it is guaranteed i'm telling you this and then you can build up to 100 websites the 100 gig ssd storage the weekly backups unlimited ssl like ssl means the security of your site it means you don't have to worry about the security of your site um hosting guy is taking care of that for you then you can go ahead and do some additional securities if you want to so unlimited bandwidth a uh, free email and then free domain this is very much a very big value right here so um you can go ahead and go through all the features here but let's just go ahead and add this to cart right now okay so once you added this to cart you are just left with just one step the remaining step is just to make payment so go ahead right now and choose your period choose a period that you want um this hosting to last if you choose one month it's still on detriment i would don't even look at this okay if this is them discouraging you not to even try it okay so and then 12 months is the one i advise you to go for so just that is one year if you pay for this you are going to pay for 255 dollars per month right and then you're having free domain too so um you can go ahead and choose one month okay you, if you choose 24 months you even have lesser value and if you choose 48 months you even have much lesser value plus two months free of charge so the higher you go the much more value you get okay so we are i'm going to be choosing 24 months just for this okay that is two years 
right so the next thing you're going to do is to create your account so i'm going to be creating the account here just adding your email address and your password and your account will be created or you can use google or facebook account if you use this google it will just auto generate um your account and password for you that means if you want to log in you have to use google for me i prefer to do this manually so i can uh, at least have access to uh, my password especially when i'm getting this for a client okay all right so after this you can go ahead and select payments you can pay with credit card and then um, you can pay with PayPal, Google Pay, and the rest of them. So, but we're going to be paying with our credit card. And then look at what happens here. As you can see, all this information here, you don't really need to um, fill it. Of course, you can see it's all of them are optional. So, you can see that the 75% discount we had earlier is now 79 because you're using my 20% referral discount code. So, if you're not using that discount code, just go below the description right now and you're going to pick up that code and it will slash it down for you. So, normally, we are supposed to be paying 288.43 dollars. That is what we are supposed to be paying. And right now, we are not paying 287.76 dollars again. We are paying 59 dollars. You see their kind of discount you are getting. This is something you shouldn't even want to miss at all. So, first of all, let's go back here and add our email address and our password. All right. So, we just inserted our email and our password. So, go down. And then we are paying with credit card okay so um we'll just scroll down like i said you don't need to fill all these details so let me just go ahead and fill up these details right now okay so that i can make payments all right so it's actually processing my payments right now all right so immediately your payment is accepted you'll be brought to this particular place right now okay you'll be brought to this particular um C panel redirection just this particular page right now so you can go ahead and click on start now okay so you can click on I'm creating it for myself and then i'm building it myself or you can skip all these things it doesn't really matter you can click on business and then um yes you're a beginner all those things doesn't really matter okay so you can go ahead and then um create a new website or migrate a website so um for here i'm just gonna click on create a new website right, so what you do is um when you, once you get here select a platform so you can go ahead and choose wordpress because that's what we want to use so once you click on wordpress you're going to be choosing your details okay so first of all you choose your email address which is um, this for now you can go ahead and change it later right so and then your administrative password you can choose a password of your choice so let me choose a password I'm going to be pasting this password right now and then I'm going to click on continue. So add plugin to your website. We'll do we'll do this later. Skip or manage um later. Then for this also I don't need a template, right? So we are what you will now see is where you can get your free that you claim your free domain or use an existing domain, right? so um use and to use an existing domain or to claim a free domain just click on this select and then you can go ahead and choose um the um you can choose the domain name of your choice dot com dot net or whatever dot org you can go ahead and choose any one of your choice and then if you search for it and it's available then you're just going to go ahead and get it so but for me i don't want to use this option for now i want to use an existing domain okay so i'm just going to go ahead and search for this domain all right so i just imputed the domain and then we are here right so we can go just go ahead and click on finish setup all right so as you can see um we'll have to wait for um like few seconds because it's actually initializing so it's actually like going ahead to install everything we need as you can see ssl already installed automatically so it's continuous to do this until it is finally done okay all right so we are almost done here right so to view your website to make any changes you need to connect your this this, that, that, that. this is just because i used the other aspect so but if you're using your the domain name if you're claiming the free domain it's totally um it's to, you, you are just going to get there instantly right click on admin panel right now so that you can go to the normal wordpress dashboard right so see you on the wordpress dashboard all right, so we are done buying our domain name and hosting. So we are now here on this um, particular um, step, right? So this is our WordPress dashboard. And then we're going to start doing some customization right now so that we can actually get started with designing our website. So first things first, this is how your dashboard is going to look like or something similar. Then um, we're going to go through some of, this, um, some of these widgets here that we actually be needing 
all right so the first thing we are going to be doing is to go to setting we we'll just go to setting and go to permalinks so um of course it is set at plan uh, for default so but we're going to be changing this to post name just for SEO purposes so i'm going to click on save changes and then i'm going to go to the general the general settings then this is where you can change your site title the tagline you can actually add probably um, any word that pretty describes your website right so this is your site title of course this should be the title of your website and then this is the administrative email and the rest of them just pretty much what you need to do is okay let's say of course if you want to change your language you can actually change your language from here and then your date format and the rest of them but when you're done just click on save changes okay so uh then once we are done with these settings so we come back to this and then let me just go through this quickly for you this is the post where you can write your blog posts okay so if i click on add new right now I'll start writing a blog post but we're not going to be doing that this is your media where you add in any any picture video whatever you have there is a file on your website to be stored this place this particular place right so but the major things you're going to be looking at here is the pages the appearance the plugins okay they are very important so first things first we're going to be looking at the pages right now so the pages um they actually um include the the navigations okay of your websites for instance your home the about contact us blog and the rest of them this is where you set them up okay so first of all let me delete these um, pages right now okay so we have a blank page right now so the other one is the appearance so this is where you get to change your themes and then customize your website to um to the way you want it to be okay so majorly what the team does what the team of the website like i said what it does is it actually changed the feel okay the look and the feel of your website it adds this it, it adds structure to your website okay and changing the changes the feel of the website so if you have a team okay let's just go over to this team right now so as you can see this is the default team so and then this is the team repository there are a lot of teams that um uh, there's a lot of teams available for you here all you just need to do is to click on add new and then you can go all through and check for a lot of teams i mean most of these teams are they are very very good and they are also very very professional and the best part is that they are totally for free okay so you can go ahead and check for all these teams and the rest of them so like i said the team adds an additional feel okay it has a feel it has a design okay basic design to your website it also changes the structure of your website so for instance look at the team we have right now if we go to a website let me go to our website right now so you see as this website is looking right now it is courtesy of the team that we have right here so if we go to this place and then of course we're going to be choosing another team which is actually this uh, particular team right here okay it is called astra and then astra is um, one of the most popular wordpress team out there it's a very fantastic team you should always use it okay highly recommended so that is the one we're going to be using for the sake of this tutorial so i'm going to be clicking on activate him right now so i'll just activate this team it's already installed but for you you might need to like install and then activate it so i've activated this right now so i'm just gonna go back to this website and then i'll refresh of course you see it changes the entire structure and the feel okay this doesn't look like what we want yet and it's perfectly fine but um we're gonna get this to a very professional level as time goes on so just follow me step by step right so we've actually installed the team and we've talked about what the team means so let's go back to the plugin which is very very important also so um the plugin also what it does majorly is to add additional functionality to your website it adds an additional functionality without the plugin it's like um you it, it's like your body and then you're not wearing clothes on your body okay so of course I, i'm not sure you would appreciate it going naked on the way so that is how it is when you have a team the team is like the body of the website the structure okay but um, the plugin adds the beauty adds the functionality okay it adds everything that makes the website functional so that is it and then um, we're going to be needing some important plugins okay for instance we're going to be needing a page builder 
okay and we're going to be using elementor as our page builder elementor is one of the best and most popular uh, page builder for wordpress so we're going to be using elementor and then let me just click on add new so i'm gonna click this is the uh, if i want to import from my computer i will click on upload plugin but i want to search for elementor here on the wordpress repo on the plugin repository like i said there are there are thousands and hundreds of thousands of plugins that you can use so um well, we're gonna be searching for elementor right now we're gonna be searching for elementor and then that is the first plugin we are going to be installing okay we're gonna install this plugin right now all right so um that is it so let me just go ahead and activate it let me go ahead and activate this right now so it's activated this is the first plugin that we are going to be needing so the next thing we're going to be doing right now is we are going to be creating some pages okay as you can see we don't have any menu here we don't have any kind of menu here so we're going to be creating some pages so remember once um the home we need the home about contact depending on the kind of website you want to build so but we're just going to be creating like um sorry let's start from the home we're just going to be creating like few pages okay so and then our home page is live i'm gonna click again and then i'm gonna click on i'm gonna add this as about gonna publish this publish again all right so let's just add one more let's add one more okay so let's call this blog right so click on publish and click on pub publish again so go back so let's say we're working on these three menus all i need to do right now is to go over to the appearance and then i'll head to menu so i can create a new menu i'll call this menu main menu right and i'll set it as primary menu and then i'll click on create menu so the next thing i want to do is i'm gonna be adding these three pages that i created i'll just click on add um add to menu so these are the pages that we created i'll drag this up and then drag this up and then i'll click on save menu so if i check on the website right now and refresh you see that we have this menu here home about and blog so our website is like coming up little by little so you see how it is that we're already doing something very um, amazing designing our website from scratch okay from nothingness so that is it that is how to create a menu and then the next thing we are going to do be doing right now is let's go to settings and then let's go to reading so we are going to be turning this from your latest posts of course if you see if we click on this you see that it's always on this this is the latest post okay so but for this because of this reading we are going to turn this to a static page and then for the home page we are going to be using the home as our home page and then the post we are going to be using blog then i'm just gonna click on save changes so whenever i click or refresh this you see the changes okay we are now on the home page which is the page that we created so and then anytime i click on blog it comes to this blog page which which was the post that we were before right so i'll come back to this so with this i don't even need to see like um my website name for slash home again so it is set as home page so if you click on this website the home page appears all right so i hope you understand this and then what we're going to be doing right now is let us go to our page or pages and then let's click on this um our home page so that we can start customizing our website remember i said we're going to be using elementor right we're going to be using elementor so let us open elementor right now so like i said elementor is one of the popular the most popular um page builder out there right so it's highly recommended and like i said this is what we're gonna be using for this um, particular uh tutorial so um the, this right here the widgets of the elemental okay we're gonna be going through this a little like we're gonna be building this a little bit so that you can see how it is so right now um what we're going to be doing is simply to be dragging and dropping these widgets okay Dra dra dragging and dropping some of these widgets or elements 
as regards to what we want okay for instance i can click on this plus icon right now and then i can click on this particular uh, layout and then let's say I add another container to it and then i will just drag this heading up okay and then um put go to the style put this heading on the center then i'll go to the typography let's say i want to change the font of this typography to like poppins okay so and then i'll increase the size so this is majorly what elemental helps you do just to drag and drop it is it is as easy as abc is as easy as pi right so i'm just gonna um transform this to capitalize everything will be is already capitalized then i'll change the color of this let's say i want this color to be black i change the color to black so this is how to customize everything let me add the text editor here okay so i'll also put this at the center and then i'll change the typography just the same way you can go ahead and just do this okay just go ahead and do this the way you want it to be okay so then let's say you want to add an image you just drag everything is pretty much drag and drop let's say you want to add an image here and then let's say you want to add um, a button a call to action button um a call to action button below it um okay so that is it we can put this at the center and then we can basically increase the typography of this button okay and then we can go ahead and like add the link to this button and then change the text here you can change this to anything you want you can change this to anything you want okay so this is basically how easy it is for you to edit on elementor it is a simple drag and drop page builder okay let me just update this and then let's go over to our website right now and then as you can see the website is already coming up so everything you do on this particular home uh, page builder right now is going to appear on your home page and then the more you add your design the more it gets better okay so you can also go ahead and customize just go to the customization of this particular website and then customize everything but because of our time like i said we're not going to be spending hours designing this from scratch so i'm gonna be deleting everything that we've done here yeah i know it's painful but yeah that is what we're going to be doing but we're going to be doing something better right now as you can see everything is gone but we're going to be doing something much more better and what is that let's go back to my dashboard first of all i decide later so um let's go back to the dashboard and then um i'll click on this um, wordpress icon and then what we're going to be doing right now is we are also going to be deleting all these pages i know you'll be like hey man why are you deleting all the things that will just done every of our struggles we are deleting all of them but don't worry we're gonna be bringing them back and they are going to be coming back better better and better right so like i said we're not going to be doing all these things from scratch like i'm not going to be um, getting up all these pages from scratch with, uh, with elementor if we do that it's going to be like more than two to three hours um, um tutorial and then we are saying that we are building this in 20 minutes so we want to stick to our time so how do we get to achieve this what we are going to do right now is to install another plugin remember the thing that we we had on our website it is called astra right so because we have astra as a team so what we are going to be doing right now is that we are going to be installing a starter site okay it is called a starter site let me just look for it starter sites so what it does is it helps this is a plugin that is being created by um um the brainstorm force which is the owner of uh, which is the creator of um, astra team also so what it does is it gives you arrays of website templates that you can use and import them within the next 30 seconds you will have a full functional website i mean all those pages that we created and everything full design so let's see how it goes first of all i'm just going to install this now then i'm going to activate all right so once i activate it's going to say um it's going to bring you to this inter interface say the classic templates and then ai builder so we're going to be choosing this build with templates okay so and then of course we're using elementor of course so as you can see 
can you just imagine what is going on here we have arrays of websites built out for you complete websites i'm not talking about websites that you have to like um go ahead and do a lot of work on i mean complete templates that you can use we have templates on on nature travel e-commerce any kind of like look at all the uh, look at all the categories that we have you want business local business personal care profession startup personal sites and all and all and all right so you can go ahead of course there are premium aspect of these templates here of course you'll be seeing them premium premium so but the free version works very very well like the free ones the free templates they work perfectly well for instance this particular one right now is free this is free this is free there are a lot of free templates here that you can actually explore right so that is what we are going to be using so basically you can choose any template of your choice regardless of the niche you're building your website on so all you need to do is any one you choose at least it will be related to what you are doing because you can choose e-commerce when you want to be building and um, probably a business website so it doesn't make sense so if you want to build an e-commerce website you choose any e-commerce template then customize it to the way you want it to be that is how it works so if you want business choose business or at least you can choose something related to a niche you're working on so like this right now i want to work on maybe a travel website so i'm going to be choosing on this particular website right now so i'm going to be choosing this particular website and then all you need to do is to add a lot of information here that is if you want if you doesn't want if you don't want you can go ahead and do this later okay we can do this much later so what i'm going to do in is i'll just click um continue so this is the default color that we have you can either change this color like this you can change the entire color of this website by just a simple click okay everything is changing as you can see everything is changing so i think we should leave it with this red let's leave this red and then you can change the the fonts also you can change the fonts if i change this you see all the fonts is changing all the fonts is actually changing so you can still do this later much more much more later if you don't want to do this right here okay so i think let's just choose this and move on let's choose this open sun so continue so all you need to do here just click go ahead and add your name add an email i'm a beginner myself every other thing is here for you just click on submit so we're just going to hold on for some seconds or some or maybe like a few minutes for our website to be imported right All right, so as you can see, our entire website um, is ready in just 23 seconds. That is all it took to view this. So let's go ahead and view this website right now. So this is this is our website, complete website. Now, funny enough, we have the home about services, project contact, and then a call to action. So like you see the reason why I had to delete my own personal page that I created because it's the same process. Let's go back to our dashboard right now. And then you see that all these pages have been created um, for us from these starter templates. Look at all this. You can either choose to delete anyone you don't want. Like I don't want this project, so I delete it. And then leaving, let me just refresh. So you see it's gone, it's gone. Look at it. So if I go to about us page, you see everything has been designed. All you need to do right now, let's go to the services everything has been designed for you the contacts looking awesome i mean this is the kind of website that you can you pay hundreds of thousands of naira or thousands of dollars to get built right but you are doing this in just few seconds and i'm showing you this thing because i really really want you to like succeed no no boundaries and no limits for you if you're a small business owner and then you need to get your website up and running you don't need to spend thousands of dollars okay you don't you don't need any sophisticated developers to come and do stuff for you. you can actually do this and then customize it in few seconds you are done with creating your website so that is it so all you need to do right now is let's go back to our home page we've done this everything is set up for us including all the plugins that we need so all you need to do right now is just to go back here let's refresh okay sorry i'm not working on this yep so let's refresh this 
yeah so all you need to do now is this is the home page go ahead and click edit with elementor right, so once you click edit with elementor you'll be brought to this interface remember what we started doing is nothing different all you need to do is just to go ahead let's say i want to change the background of this particular um this particular website of course this website belongs to you all you need to do is just go ahead and explore your potentials okay let's go and check for free images here you can go and search for any image of your choice you know you can search for any kind of image let's use let's search for travels right here okay so let's just check if there's anyone we were gonna be loving so okay let's use this let's use this select so i'm first of all i'm gonna save this okay all right so look this is it so what i'm gonna do is i'm also gonna go to the overlay and i'm gonna turn this to black then as you can see i'll just update everything so this is it this is how our website is looking like right now so i'm customizing a lot of things right now you can go ahead and customize change this text remember what we were doing before you can change this text change this text to your own right so you can delete anything you want you can delete this you can delete this you can add to this you can change this you can change the color of this particular stuff right now you can change the color everything is drag and drop and ready for you okay so the button to customize everything here you can even delete anything you don't want right you can delete anything you don't want at the rest of them so go ahead and explore your god given potentials right now guys so go ahead and like edit your website i don't know the kind of website you're building right now but just go ahead and edit that website to a very fantastic level if you have any question of course i'll be in the comment section you can ask me any question you want and of course um, i would like you to click the subscribe button because i'll be bringing you some more extensive tutorials on how you can build a professional looking amazing wordpress website okay so click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that immediately i drop a video you'll be the first to see it and first to participate on the value so right now i'm going to be leaving you to continue customizing your website thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i definitely going to see you in the next tutorial